kindergartners. So if you have written your name in your letters and numbers workbook, the orange workbook, Handwriting Without Tears, the next thing that you're going to do is listen to what I have to say, because on the next page, it is page one. I'm going to read what the person that created this program for you wrote to you. So it says, Dear student, and that's you, this is your book. So this is your book to use. You will learn to write. You will learn numbers. You may color too. Jan Z. Olson. It's in the picture of Jan is right here. She is the one who made all of these books that you guys are using. So, so far you have written your name and you have colored the things that I had you color. And those things, you have to use your fingers in order to draw and in order to write. And so that's what we're having you practice while you do these handwriting um, tasks. So if you turn to the next page, you will see lots and lots of words and it's called the table of contents. It has every single thing that you're going to do in this workbook, okay? You don't need to really worry about this too much right now, but this is just showing you what is in your workbook. The next page has all the capital letters, all the lowercase letters, and numbers one through 10. You'll notice there is gray blocks. They're like rectangles with each capital letter in them. All capital letters are written in a gray block. That's what we call them. And it makes it so that that letter fits in that gray block. So when you're writing your capital uppercase letters, you'll learn more about what that is. You'll make sure that your letter fits in that gray block. So when you did your name, did you see one of those gray blocks? Yes, boys and girls. So when you did your first letter of your name, you're doing a big letter, capital letter, for your first letter of your name, and then you're doing lowercase for the rest of the letters. So. That is all I'm going to cover today in your workbook. I just wanted to introduce to you your workbook, what you're going to be using when we're doing our handwriting tasks, our things that we're going to be doing. There are other things we are going to be doing, but when I say use your handwriting without tears workbook, your letters and numbers for me workbook, you know what I'm talking about, the orange workbook. Okay, so I will be assigning you and telling you things that you need to do in this workbook. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for joining me today, and I will see you at your next handwriting lesson.